Hello and welcome back to another Van Manyo British Railway video. Today we are looking at the brand new version 1.2.1 Class 153 Transport for Wales add-on. If you haven't seen my full video where I review the full version 1.2.1, that video will be in the top right hand corner now. And I have also made in-depth videos on the brand new Class 350 liveries and you can check them out in the links in the description below. Anyway, today we are driving the brand new Transport for Wales Class 153 from here in Russell Lane over to Leeton to see um, if how, you know how different this is to the other 153s. Uh, today we're in a four car formation which is probably quite a rare thing um, but let's have a little look at the 153. I've, I've said it's not my favourite model, it isn't my favourite model. Um, I do love the 153s in real life though and it, it's not it's not that bad actually. It's quite a good, ig ignore that. It is quite a decent model. I mean, um, it's, it's, it's pretty good actually. Um, inside, uh, we can you can see the. Oh my god, what's going on? There we go. You, can, you can't really see the cab. Well, we'll go the other one. You can see it's quite decked out pretty realistically, I would say, to a TFW train. The actual maquette's a bit different. Um, I think it's a bit more, more like a different maquette style rather than that sort of like blue fabric as you can see there but the inside layout is quite realistic obviously in real life there's plugs and stuff but I don't expect that much um, detailing from this and then um, the cab itself actually looks pretty good too but that is obviously was already in the game the livery it is quite plain sadly it's not that realistic because I think in real life there's a big F there on the side or at least it is on the 150s I'm not too sure maybe it isn't on the 153s but <clears throat> in real life there is a sort of big logo I think on on that window there with like the F there and obviously the name is is not transport for Wales because of copyright it's for for Wales. and I do like the logo it's a bit annoying that it cuts out at, at the bottom there you can sort of see it there one thing is it's so dark like you wouldn't know that I've got the lights on really because it's just it's really dark for some reason um, but yeah, the, the textures on the roof aren't great, the luggage racks aren't, they're just sort of parts, they're not really like much detail. It does have a dot matrix in it, which is cool, but yeah, um, it's not my favourite interior, I think it's one of the most basic ones, I think the Class 350 one is probably one of the best. But yeah, the cab is quite cool, uh, you can um, control the, the cab from the sort of inside, you can't do the door sadly. Under the signal by there, if you if you wanted to do that, and there's even a is that GSMR that isn't working. But yeah, overall the cab's pretty realistic. I think it's probably the most realistic thing. It's, it's raining here actually. Um, I, I do like it. Anyway, we haven't taken too long. Let's listen to the horn. I need to turn the volume. Listen to the horn. There you go. How how fun is that? already into longbow so the interesting thing about the class 153 in the game is that it can do the shuttle service from here uh, this longbow longbow platform here to have a new hearst over there or victoria harbour somewhere over there and it's the only train that can do that um because it's one carriage i'm not really sure why because i think you can probably fit two carriages on there um but only the 153 can do that so that's a sort of a new route that you can do if you do buy the 153 compared to the other liveries um I do think the London Midland one is my favourite because it has the most sort of personal co connections with me. But um, I like the Arriva Trains Wales one too, and that's pretty nice. But yeah, th this one, this one is nice. Obviously, it's the only one in game that is realistic because in real life, Transport for Wales still operates these compared to the other 153s where they don't really exist anymore, and most of them um, are scrapped or like in storage. Just before we approach Abbey Road, it would mean so much to me if you did subscribe. We've had so much good growth recently, we've hit 500 subscribers, and we're already quite close to 550 subscribers. By the time you're watching this, who knows, it might have already passed that. But please subscribe, it would mean so much to me. Uh, it makes me very, very happy. So yeah, thank you very much. Going on the right of this um, triangle, sort of. It's, it is a triangle, yeah. It's, it's not, it's quite a big triangle though. Oh, there's another 153. 
you look inside that, I think that one's the most boring one in my opinion. It's just bland. Um, but I guess it's it's the original one, isn't it? The the um what, the regional railways one. We approached the sort of remodelled Abbey Road. It, I think the last update it got remodelled. It's not my favourite station. I, I think all these the like, Longbow, Abbey Road, Whetstone, Merrion, they don't really have much like personality to them. It's just sort of another station to stop at. Oh, I think that's pretty perfect there. Obviously one of the big characteristics of the 153 is it does have that one big door. We don't really get on many trains nowadays. Um, and yeah, it's quite a, a realistic entry. I don't know if it has like that sort of... Look how much room there is. It sort of goes very narrow, doesn't it, for the cab. I'm not sure how realistic that is. But this storage is realistic. Normally there would also be a toilet um, here. But I guess you don't really expect that sort of detailing, perhaps. Are we on time? Oh, we're bang on time. I mean, I can't really say if it sounds realistic or not, it just sort of sounds like a diesel train, so you can't really say much about that in that sort of sense. I think the top speed of it is 75 miles an hour, and I think in real life that's what it is, so I doubt it would be any different in the game. It would be a bit silly if it was. This is definitely the, the least exciting addition to the update in my opinion. You know, we've got a new route that I'm going to look at in a future video, so subscribe for that. Uh, we've got a new train, the, the driving van trailer, um, and we've got the big class 350 train as well. This one just feels like a sort of little change um, that I'm not complaining that we have, but it sort of just feels a bit like... It's a bit less important, isn't it? It's a bit less big, it's sort of... yeah. It's still nice to have it. But yeah, I wonder what's next. Maybe Scotwell? I think the whole of the Scotwell 153 is just like bike storage. I don't even think you can like sort of sit in them, but you can say if I'm wrong in the comments. I think that was our marker there. Hmm. Yeah. Oh well. Doesn't harm going a bit over. Not very busy, but you can see that big door there. I mean, these were built to replace paces, really, um, on some routes. Obviously, they didn't because they were still around, but. They were sort of a branch line and increasing capacity to work with the 150s, which um, they still do occasionally today, although I mean, there's a pacer. Nowadays they're confined to branch line routes with um, Transport for Wales or inner city Cardiff routes with Transport for Wales. And even though Transport for Wales are getting rid of the class 150s, they're replacing with bi-mode and electric units because they're electrifying the South Wales, they're making it into sort of a metro system. Um, they are keeping the 153s for other sort of branch line routes and if they just need them especially on the Heart of Wales line from Swansea up to Shrewsbury via like Clandrind or Wales I'm sure my pronunciation there was top notch Anyway the route flies by, we're already at Merion nearly so uh, we are already nearly finished Abandoned station over there There's a 158 there, I would love to see a 158 in the game um, because I think it would be nice having a sort of DMU that can switch from regional to intercity. I think you could do it on the 170, but I think, you know, having a 158 would also be quite nice. Ah, that's a red signal. Hmm. Hmm. I think we've hit some traffic. Is it because there's a... Oh, I assume it's because there's a train at, at Marion. Yeah, oh, it's a pacer. This is why I should play in private service, but <laughs> oh well. And just like that we can go again. I like the rain, the rain's pretty cool. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is sort of making a noise. Just it's, it's relaxing. I could go to sleep. But I'm not because I'm recording this. Anyway, yeah, Marion's one of I think it's one of my favourite stations on this sort of diesel line. It's one of the busiest too because it gets intercity um, services too. That pace is going very, very slowly. Which is, unless it's way, unless that's on the other line, I can't really see. No, it's not, it's just going really slowly. Uh -huh. 
more than one. Surprise it's running then. <sighs> there are HST markers here, but I don't know if there will ever be a HST or not. I mean, look at that. Would you not want that to be your avatar? Are we late? Oh no, we're just about on time. Got a double yellow too, which is quite nice. Let's see if we can get a, a signal in to Leeton or not. And um, we actually get into a platform into Leeton. Wow, and there's a, that's a 156, which is quite laggy actually. I think we have to slow down quite a bit here though. All the way to 15. There we go. Oh no, normally it puts you in on that platform, but I guess today not. Anyways sort of the end now isn't it in conclusion what are my thoughts on the brand new 153 in british railway version 1.2.1 it's okay it's a new addition it's a new livery to the game but it's not overwhelming in any sort of sense it's quite boring it's quite plain but it's a new train to have a look at and i would thoroughly recommend um having the 153 it's a good train and this livery is is pretty decent too if you do want to play the game, you can of course do it. The link's in the description below. Uh, it's free to play on Roblox. And on that note, if you did enjoy this video, it would mean a lot if you did like and subscribe and check out my other videos as well as my in real life videos, um, which I would recommend you watching because they're a lot of fun to make and I hope they're also fun to watch. Anyway, we're here, we're on time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.